Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today I'm going to make a beef stir fry, but I'm going to put it all in the oven. This is what we have. Package of, I think the last package of the beef that I paid, you know, $2.79 a package for. I have some MSG free beef bouillon or uh, beef broth. I have rice, zucchini, onions, and peppers. Right? So, and here's my Dutch oven. I'm going to turn it on and put some oil in it. Okay, so first, I'm going to put some, turn this Dutch oven on here. Give it a good spray with avocado oil. Can you guys even see? With that. Remember, to, if you get this avocado oil, that spray from um, Costco, make sure you shake it really well or it won't spray. There we go. All right. Oh, and this is one of those steaks again that I uh, seasoned before I vacuum sealed it. So let's get this all cut up. into I guess like strips because it's just a cheap flat steak that I seasoned and rolled up and vacuum sealed. Get those in there and searing. So we have our meat. We want to get that all browned up. about three quarters of a cup of rice. Not a full cup because the vegetables, we've got broth and the vegetables are gonna give off some water. So now we're gonna just put some onions on there. Like that. Some zucchini, that's gonna give off a lot of water. So I'm thinking I might have to put more rice in. We can always have stir-fried leftovers another day. Right? So there, one cup of rice, several handfuls of frozen vegetables, which will give off water. We're just going to add a cup of beef broth all over the top. And this is going into a 350 degree oven. Let's just get this all stirred up. You know what else would taste really good in that? A couple of shots of Worcestershire sauce. That's what I'm talking about. And this is going into a 350 degree oven for about an hour. All right, let's have a look. Oh, that looks marvelous. Look at that. All right. All right, Father's Home. Look at this. Now, I'm not going to call this a stir fry. You know how I make chicken and rice? This is called beef and rice. And it may not look like there's a lot of vegetable there, but onion and zucchini kind of goes invisible. So, we'll get this there. Do you want a little bit of soya sauce on this, dear? Sure. All right, and we'll meet you guys when Papa's ready to taste this. Oh, good. How was your first day back at work? Rough. Yeah, you look, you look worn right out. Now, you know how we have chicken and rice? This is beef and rice. Beef and rice. Okay. This is still some of that beef that you had sliced up? Yep. The last one, I think, too. My goodness, somebody smells it. Oh, she's on the other side of you. <laughs> I think I'll make chicken perka tomorrow, and that way I can just throw it in the crock pot. Good? All right, get her into you. Fooled you, didn't I? Didn't use the crock pot. I used the Dutch oven. Beef and rice. I know I said beef stir fry over rice, but it's really not. It's beef and rice with vegetables. 
This is the Mrs. Volvi from our half acre homestead saying, and that's just another pantry pull meal. When you've got a properly prepped pantry, nutritious, delicious, and economical meals are right at your fingertips. Take care, God bless.